Greetings from Amarillo, Texas. I'm patiently waiting in line at the truck wash. Been riding dirty for a while, riding in lots and lots of rain. Then we're gonna get all spiffied up. We're looking good, we're looking... We're not looking as good as this guy here, but... maybe, Maybe we should do something about that. Check out my aluminum, man. I've, uh, I haven't been putting much work in. Well, I haven't been putting any work into it. Let's be honest here. Last time I was home, I went and picked up this uh, little polisher because, well, let's face it, man, hand polishing just ain't no fun. And this little polisher is pretty awesome. Back when I worked at Kaiser, that was one of our, uh, part of our required equipment. Pretty nice. Makes it go by so much faster. It's not a high-speed wheel polisher, but it, it helps with this. See? See? Doesn't it look so much better? I hand polish the wheels and uh, put some mop and glow on the tires for tire dressing. Learned that from our good friend uh, Mike Gaffin, the Boston trucker. And we, uh, we'll have to hit that bumper next time or whenever we get some free time, but stick around! Hey, run over to rumble.com and check out the Traveler Man pre-trip, post-trip podcast. I left you a link down in the uh, bio. It'll take you straight to registration for rumble.com. And uh, you can follow both my channels, Skyline Flagship and Traveling Man. Check it out. Thank you. Bye. A wise man once said... You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. I broke down out here in Kingman, Arizona. See that check engine light there? I had two others come on. I had the red flashing stop light come on. Hell, it just shut my truck down. You see here uh, what this code means, saying that uh, something is hot. So I figured if I just maybe stay cool and let this truck get cool, Maybe it'll let me roll somewhere where I can get fixed up. Damn, that sun's bright behind me. Well, I decided I would, uh, didn't move over. It's amazing how many of these cars and trucks don't move over for broke down vehicles. When I got that ticket, the other day I had some that didn't even move over. It's unreal. But um, I decided I'd sit here and think about some shit before I take any action. Uh, maybe I could fix something. Sitting here Googling shit. So I think I'm going to take that. Get to that one box. I don't know. I don't know, man. Take the cover off the one box there and uh, pull some of those sensors. See if I can clean them. I've been watching a couple videos and it's amazing how many people break those trying to remove them. So I'm worried about that. I don't know, to be honest, man, I kind of feel like just getting as much shit out of there as I can. And just hoofing it and just getting out of this world forever, man. Leaving this fucking bullshit society. (laughs) I'm tired of this shit, man. I really am. Don't move over. I've got buddies who've been sideswiping doing this. I don't know, I'm so sick of this shit, dude. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna start taking shit apart. Maybe I'll get a phone call from somebody who knows what they're doing. They know what's going on back home, so I'm gonna start at least look at these filters, I don't know. Make sure my any wires everything's good, I don't know. 
Gotta do something. Well, I'm not able to even get that off. I've got three, a big old bag of tools here, two toolboxes, and I've got, I've got the Torx, but I don't have that particular size. It's missing. I've got every one, every one in my collection, but that the one I need there. Such fun. <laughs> Figured I'd try this nice little diagnostic tool I bought a few years back. Maybe a couple years back. Blank screen. Doesn't fucking work. Thanks, I'm afraid. Alright, so I called this diesel repair shop, Kingman Diesel Repair down here that's right across the street from uh the Flying J here in Kingman. She said I could roll on down there as long as I stay below five miles per hour. And this, the dash still says shut down in progress and or process in process. It says. Shut down the process, and of course you can hear the beeping, so I am probably about five miles from the exit right now, and I'm doing like probably two miles per hour, because I don't want it to shut me down again, but hopefully we can get it there without, without issue. Amazing nobody let nobody moves over. Or some do, but here, here comes a, a four-wheeler. That was two trucks that just went by me, didn't let didn't move over. Four-wheeler right there. Here comes another truck. Oh, he's moving over. That four-wheeler wasn't gonna let him over, but he <laughs> Alright, this is annoying as fuck! <laughs> Mr. U-Haul, move over. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? My name's Hammer Lane. I'm a truck driver. This here's a little song I wrote called Super Trucker. I hope y'all like it. Love 
slow me down Yeah, fuck all them scales I'll just go around, yeah Super truck there Everybody look at me Oh, yeah Yeah, yeah Super truck on that ending I didn't know what to do but anyway there it is y'all sign off well wasn't as bad as I thought I guess it was a sensor uh, they did two regens on it force regen I couldn't get it to do a regen but uh it's good but the sensor will probably go out uh, knock sensor um, well this is Kingman uh, Kingman diesel or something oh, there it is. Kingman diesel repair I was referred by a Facebook friend I appreciate it Jamie Roach thank you very much well, the next morning I made my drop over in Vegas, finally. And then I found this piece going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hoping to find another partial to go with it so I can uh, keep rolling. Albuquerque's just not a very good place to uh, be empty. That's a big boy right there. 36,000 pounds. Maybe more than I could handle. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. I thought I'd uh, get something to go on the top deck. Make a little more money. I don't want to put anything else with that some bitch. The way it was, the trailer was creaking and the wood was popping. I'm like, whoo! I got nervous there for a little bit. I mean, shit, I ain't gonna kid you. I still am. Damn it! I don't know. When I got here, the guy was who loaded it. He's like, he's like. Have you depl deployed your airbags? <laughs> Have you deployed your airbags? I was like, deploy my airbags? What do you mean? He, he didn't even know. I think he means dump them or have them. I was like, uh, sure. And he goes, and your axle's all the way back or something like that? I'm like, yeah. Come to find out he had to deal with some other asshole trucker that was here before who had his axle closed and he drove it on with like that 10 feet of overhang on the back or you know it, you ain't supposed to do that it'll tear your shit up anyway i'm gonna roll heading to albuquerque well i'd love to tell you that i'm really on my way to albuquerque but she blew up on me again. Or she didn't blow up. I had the same codes, I had the same thing, shut me down. I'm right at the scale in Kingman, Arizona. <sighs> Called that shop again, they're gonna come uh, do a regen. Well, the code just cleared. It's, it's no longer there. No longer showing that I'm uh, shut down or anything. Um, the guys I went to yesterday are, they're going to come and try to get something fixed. Uh, so I'm kind of debating whether I should stay and let them come do that or if I should go ahead and try to get to them so I don't get that roadside service charge. But this hill coming out of this scale is a motherfucker. So I don't know. I'm worried I start climbing that hill and then it's just gonna happen again. We'll see. I 
think I better sit here and let them come to me. It's going to cost me more money, but shit, I'm worried that I'm going to start climbing that hill and then boom. So. shop and getting an, an ox sensor or like a, I mean, this is just going to keep happening again, so. Well, I got cleared to leave today, but, uh, you know, the computer, they replaced a couple sensors and the computer said everything was great and, um, Everything was just fine, but uh, as soon as I got on the interstate, and I mean, as soon as I got on the interstate, all my, well, the check engine lights come on, and um, so I turned back around, came back to the shop, and they're finding out, man, it's getting, that truck's getting hot. So they're thinking it's an injector or a doser, and which is all this work that I had done back in November there in Tulsa, uh, and cost me a shit ton of money. I mean, a shit ton of money. And uh, here I am again. If it's the same shit, I don't know what I'm going to do. But uh, um, I'm still here. And uh, I'm just going to end this episode because, honestly, I just don't feel like fucking with it no more. Because, uh, well, I think you can understand. And uh, watching the news here, finding out the major news today. Um, hmm. I'll see you guys next time. Later.